Good morning to everybody. New year is a time for new hopes, new goals and new resolutions. So let me begin by wishing you good health, peace and prosperity and every success in all your personal goals and resolution for the new year. Then let me also share with you the fact that 2019 will be a decisive year, a nationally decisive year. This is because the decisions that we make as a people and a nation, the choices that we make as people and a nation during 2019 will determine the future course of our motherland, not just for years, but for many decades to come. 2019 will be an election year a year of a presidential election and possibly a parliamentary general election and several other nationwide elections. The very dawn of the year would certainly be an ideal time to reflect upon our collective national priorities and to resolve to fulfill our collective responsibility to achieve them in marching towards the future we dream, our common future. I have three priorities, three resolutions. And as you can see, those are the ones and no others, despite much rhetoric, that would eventually bring about that decisive change. The first is leaving no one behind, converting those marginalized social groups into vital human capital and effectively integrating them into a socio-economic mainstream. Unless and until those uh, some dwellers are socio-economically mobilized until those drug addicts are educated and rehabilitated, no beggar folks and sex slaves supported with livelihood, uh, the physically disabled duly facilitated and accommodated, the elders living in isolation are duly supported and empowered, and all such marginalized human beings are socially integrated to live in dignity self-respect and self-confidence. Not only will our mission to build the future we dream remain half complete, but will also continue to undermine our long-term socio-economic sustainability. Second resolution is the battle of meritocracy over nepotism and cronyism, a battle we must decisively win as a progressive society. As we know, in the feudal societies of the past, a person's wealth, political power, and even profession were largely derived by family lineage. This was rightly replaced by meritocracy, by and large in the modern age. However, some political powers, particularly in the less developed world, including Sri Lanka, seems to be making continuing attempts to foster the shadows of this repressive feudal notion in the form of nepotism and cronyism, thereby depriving the men and women with merit the pride of place that they deserve and depriving the nation the progress it deserves. Let us resolve to ensure victory in this crucial national battle of meritocracy over nepotism and cronyism simply because our success or failure as a nation will eventually depend on it. The third resolution would be to position Sri Lanka to lead and gain in the new development paradigm of the world. We know that the dominant development philosophy followed by the world since the advent of the fossil fuel age until as late as five decades ago was that one that was lauded and admired the perceived ability of the man to increasingly control the natural environment to control the planet Earth and beyond. Two centuries on, we see the extensive, irreversible damage that it has inflicted on our soil, water, and all natural ecosystems, potentially driving the whole humanity towards an ex existential crisis five decades from now. Today, the global community has reached consensus on an environmentally sustainable, social equitable development model in order to ensure the very sustenance of humanity and the planet. With our decades-long foresight and pioneering commitment, 
for sustainable development, we can certainly position Sri Lanka as a leader and gainer in this new global development paradigm. Let us resolve to make the right decisions, make the right political choices in 2019 to build that proud, prosperous and peaceful nation.